Hi everyone, it's Jill Celeste with YourBrandingPower.com, where entrepreneurs learn how to grow a magnetic personal brand and boost their online visibility to help them attract more clients to their business. Today I want to talk to you about your 2015 Facebook strategy. Now, you may not have heard, but Facebook released an announcement back in November indicating that overly promotional page posts will not find their way out to news feeds of Facebook users. They've pulled Facebook users and Facebook users really don't like when businesses push a lot of content out that's promotional. They'd rather see it in an ad and of course Facebook would get revenue from that but there is also advantage for a user because when you see an ad you can actually control whether or not you want to see that in your news feed at all. So there's a lot of intricacies there but what's important to know as an entrepreneur is that your Facebook strategy for the new year must be different than what you've done in the past. So I'm going to give you some tips in this video to help you devise a Facebook strategy for 2015. So the first thing I want to remind everyone is about the 80-20 rule. Now 80-20 rule is just a guideline but what it indicates is that of all your social media posts 80% should be non-promotional and 20% should be promotional. And, and what that basically is allowing you to remember is to build relationships and have conversations with people without pushing and pushing and pushing your promotional content down their throat. So let's take a look at the 80%. So what can you do on Facebook specifically that's 80% non-promotional? Well, there are a lot of different ways you can engage with your audience. You can ask questions. And it can be simple questions like, you know, how's the weather there today? Or, you know, what was your favorite toy as a kid? You know, just kind of conversational things that you might think of. It doesn't have to relate to your business or industry. It could just be a fun question to post. So think about what kind of questions you could ask. Another tip is to either make people laugh or cry. Uh, when you can evoke a reaction, an emotion from your Facebook users, you're going to be so much better off. So maybe it's a funny picture or maybe it's a video that kind of made you tear up. You know, think about what content you can post that evokes some type of emotion, uh, laughing or crying specifically, to kind of get people engaged with you. You can also, you know, ask people um, about your products, but make sure that it just doesn't come off as promotional. Um, you can say, you know, what is your favorite, blah, blah, blah. You know, and, and, and think about how you can position that, again, as a question, so that people can really engage with you and figure out how to answer back to you through your Facebook page. So those are just some tips. Now the 20% rule is the promotional content. And like it or not, if you wanna promote on Facebook, the best bet is to advertise. Now that may seem very scary because that's money, and I understand a lot of us have very tight budgets. But the good news is that Facebook advertising is not terribly expensive and it's very effective. In fact, you can promote uh, anything on Facebook for as little as $5 a day. And you can target that advertising to your ideal audience. It allows you to really splice and dice the demographics, the interests of your Facebook users so you can attract the right people to your content. So my recommendation for 2015 is to put aside every month some money for Facebook advertising because that's going to allow you to push that information out into new people's news feeds and it will make and you'll make sure that it gets there. Now, if you're not familiar with Facebook advertising, there are kind of two different ways to do things. On your Facebook page, you can boost a post, which means you just push the little boost button and you tell how much money you want to spend and it'll just kind of push that post out. Or you can go through your Facebook ads manager and you can promote a post that way. Now, there you can do a lot of research on which one's effective, which one's not effective. Here's what works for me but please experiment with what would work for you, okay? So I boost a post when I want someone to read an announcement, for example. Um, if I have a graphic I wanna share, just, just information that I want out in the newsfeed, I boost it. If I need a call to action, such as I want people to sign up for a webinar, or download something, or you know go read a blog post, it is better for me to go through the ads manager and, and do a newsfeed ad that way, because it gives you a little call to action button and it just it helps people realize they have to do something if they want that information. So that's what works for me, but please experiment and see what works best for you with your Facebook advertising. Now, I'm not saying you can't po put um, promotional content on your Facebook page. Of course you can. As I mentioned earlier, be really creative about how you do that. 
You know, I've seen people in the past maybe uh, post a picture of their product and say, hey, what would you name this product? Or, um, you know, a lot of people in the direct marketing are really good at this. You know, maybe if they sell candles or if they sell soaps, they might say, what is your favorite scent? And as people answer, here's the, what you need to do. You have to go into the comments and say, you know, that scent is on sale this week. Here's the link. You know, engage people that way if it serves them. So you can post promotional content, but again, be very creative about what you do. And a final recommendation is don't forget about your personal profile. Now, I'm not suggesting you promote heavily through your Facebook personal profile, but you certainly can post some bigger things there. Uh, be real strategic and very picky about what you put on your personal profile. And you might want to consider after you post something to your page to share it to your personal profile because that um, increases the reach of that original post on your Facebook page. And that tells Facebook that people are wanting to see this content and also drive people back to your Facebook page for more information. So that's kind of a neat little trick that you can do. But again, be very careful about what you post on your personal profile, but do use it to help you promote your products and services. So take all of these tips, and what I want you to do is get a calendar for January, and I want you to plan out what you're going to say on Facebook. Be real strategic, and what, how, why it helps to have some type of editorial calendar or posting calendar for Facebook is it lets you step back and say, okay, yep, about 80% of these are non-promotional posts, and it helps you plan what you're going to say and the questions you're going to ask. So you're not sitting there in the morning going, oh, what am I going to ask Facebook people today? You'll already have it planned. So do that for the month of January and then measure how effective each thing is. And then you can go into in February and March, etc. with that information. This doesn't mean you can't post simultaneously or spontaneously, rather. You most certainly can. But, you know, having one post a day, for example, sort of structured and planned out is really going to help you you know, get a real concrete Facebook strategy, especially with these changes, so that you know what you're gonna post, what you may wanna promote through advertising, what type of questions you wanna ask and how you wanna engage and have conversations with your users. So I hope these tips help you as you devise your 2015 Facebook strategy. And for more social media, personal branding, and marketing assistance, head over to my website at yourbrandingpower.com. And until next time, here's to your personal branding success and have a great day.